He said, I can't do that. He said, would you do it if you could? He said, yeah. He said, I laid my hands on him. He said, I prayed the anointing of God on him. He said, now go quickly. He said, he's been going ever since. Amen. He said, he's been going ever since. Amen. Now that's, that's what I'm talking about. See? Lester Summerall prayed something on him. And he went and preached that night and been preaching ever since. He said, no, I can't do that. He said, and he asked him, said, well, would you if you could? He said, yeah. And he laid his hands on him and prayed a mighty prayer of faith. He said, now go quickly. Well, he went. And that's a real man of God right there. I'd advise people to listen to men like that. They'll bless you. They've got the proof, the evidence to bless you. Now, I'm telling you, their life will bless you. Their, what they preach will bless you. they got revelation from God, used mightily of the Holy Spirit, and, and men like that will bless you now. I'm telling you. Anybody like that will just bless you real good. <laughs> I love that kind of stuff. But anyway, here they are in the upper room. And they're waiting, just like Jesus said. And all of a sudden, they heard what sounded like a great wind, mighty rushing wind. And I believe one, uh, one translation says, of a hurricane force. Man, that's loud, ain't it? Whew. Now, it didn't say it was a wind, but it said it sounded like a wind. And... Uh, the Holy Ghost came and said on them. They saw him as of tongues of fire and it sat upon each of them and they began to speak and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Now this is the beginning of the church. You know it's important for us to get this thing right. Now you are not going to change this. The Baptist people ain't going to change it. You can just, I love the Baptist, I am one. You're not going to change it. This is the beginning of the church and you're not changing it, friends. Church of Christ, you're not changing it. Pentecostals, you're not changing it either. None of, none of you, none are going to change the way that God ordained for this to be. I don't care what you believe. You can preach, I've been preaching for years, some will say, we don't believe that. Well, you just ain't never got the truth on it. You might preach all your life and be wrong. Don't do that. Just change your mind and get a hold of the truth. Nobody's going to change it. If it would have been any different, it would have started this way in the beginning. Is that complicated? Is what I'm telling you this morning, is it complicated? Hmm. I don't think it's a bit complicated. So there they were. Now the Holy Ghost came. Now, now P Peter stood up and began to preach. And what did he do? He immediately began to witness about Jesus. And that day, the Bible says there were 5,000 people that were added to the church that day. 5,000. That's a quite a bit of people, isn't it? From Peter's sermon. Amen. By the Holy Ghost. Now, now, could Peter have stood up and preached this sermon without him? No. I said no. Can we be the witnesses that Jesus said we could be without these things? No. We're going to mess up. We're going to think the Bible is saying one thing, or we're going to, we're going to tell, we're going to see things that's not so. There's all kinds of doctrines out there that's took away from the truth, and that's why. The Holy Spirit won't do it. Would he do it? Would he help you to see something in the Word that's not in the line with the will of God? 
Would he give you revelation on something that that's not the truth of God's word? No. Well, where does this stuff come from? It either comes from man and what's called earthly wisdom or it comes from devilish wisdom. Doctrines of devils and the word of God talks about it. A doctrine of a devil. Well, my goodness, who wants that? Who wants to ever st stand up and preach a doctrine of a devil? Not me. Who wants to hear it? Anybody want to hear that? Well, you might be surprised how many of them's out there and, wh and what's going on. Amen. God started this church out right. He said to tarry, and he's not talking, he told the disciples to tarry in Jerusalem till you be endued with power from on high. He said, then you'll be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem. And he said, and all over the world you'll be witnesses unto me. You'll be my witnesses. In other words, when you go, you'll be witnessing about me. Me. And that's the way it started. 